Hey everyone, today I'll be doing problem number 535 on leak code and code into code tiny URL. So the description might be confusing for some people, but basically tiny URL is some service where if we go over here, you'll get like um, some URL that's like tinyurl.com and then some gibberish. And then this will resolve to whatever URL you want. So the user provides this. It could re resolve to Google, it could resolve to anything. And basically, so you encode it. So you give it Google and the output is some hash code like that. And then when you do this and you decode it by typing it into the browser, it resolves back into google.com. So basically we want some way where we have some unique ID generation for a URL that's passed. So they're gonna pass the long URL, we encode it, and then we spit out that encoded string and then when they give us that encoded string, we need to resolve it back into the original URL. So there's a lot of ways that we can do this, but what I'm actually going to do is let's go ahead and let's originally just have some array list. So originally it's going to be just a list of integers and we're going to call this uh, array. And basically what this is going to do, and I'll explain this in a second, but this is where we're going to store our URL mappings. So what we, it's very simple. All we want to do is we're just going to add this long URL to our array. And what we actually want to do is we also want to have a pointer. So the pointer is originally going to be zero. So we want this URL to be stored at the current pointer. So basically just by adding it, just by appending it, it's going to be at this pointer. And then what we also want to do, so this must return the encoded string. So we want to uh, basically return the string of the pointer and then also increment that pointer so that the next one that gets added will be for pointer one and then the next one two, the next one three. So we're gonna return pointer, which at this point is zero and then increment it. So then at this point, all we have to do is just simply return whatever URL is at the current pointer they pass. Now it's in string, so we have to go, you know, we have to uh, do integer.parsint short URL. So that's what they're going to send here. So basically what this looks like, uh, let's go ahead and run this. Um, sorry, and this has to be an int. Let's go ahead and run this. And so, and we want this to be a list of string. Let's go ahead and run this and then let's submit it. And this is going to work, but basically, so what this would look like as a real service is when this is encoded, it would be like tinyurl.com slash zero. And then it would be tinyurl.com slash one. So that's what we're going for here. Just very simple. I just wanted to show my way of doing it. And there's a lot of other ways you can map these to some randomly generated string like tinyurl does. So like some hash code, but it's however you want to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I just wanted to go over this really quickly. Thank you for watching.